Your nanny family invites you on a one week, all expense paid trip to the Bahamas. You're so excited. You could really use a week on the beach and in the sun, but not so fast. This is not a vacation for you. This is work. There are many things to discuss before you start packing your bags. If we haven't met before, I'm Michelle Kelsey, founder of The Nanny Solution by Nannies On Call. Each week I bring you new videos to educate and inspire you to get better jobs, make more money, and become respected within the industry. Let's jump right into it. It can be really tempting to start packing your bags and accept that all expense paid trip. But talk to any nanny who's traveled with their family and they'll tell you it's not all beaches and relaxation. There are many things to start talking to your family about before you accept that trip. Many families invite you on the trip thinking this is a benefit to you and all they want to do is pay for your trip. Let's go over a few things that'll help you decide if it's worth you taking the trip or not. Visas and passports. This one's a little bit of a tricky one. Obviously, we know lots of nannies travel with their nanny families. They go from Canada to the US, Canada to Mexico, the Bahamas, all over the world, Europe, and other, if you're not from Canada, if you're US, you're traveling to different places as well. It's important for you as a nanny to understand that you are working for this family. They don't just have you along as a friend and you're doing everything with them. You're in charge of the children. And so working in those countries requires you to have working visas. And this can be a little bit tricky because A, no one gets them, and B, you're never gonna get a working visa for that two weeks, which is why probably no one gets them. I talked to one nanny who was going back and forth between Canada and the US a lot with her nanny family. And she got stopped at the border between Canada and the US once and they looked through her wallet because she had been going back and forth so much. And they were questioning if she was working there. And she obviously said no, but they found a membership card for her gym. And because of that, she was sent back to Canada. So she wasn't able to continue on and help the family when she arrived in the US. And she was also banned from the US for, for five years. So not only can she not go work with her nanny family, but she wasn't allowed to enter the US for anything. And a lot of flights fly through the US, which changed her life for the next five years. It is just something I want you to be aware of. Compensation. This is obviously the biggest aspect of this. So many families we talk to call our agency and they want to hire a nanny, so not their regular nanny, but they want to hire a nanny to come on vacation with them. And they see this as a perk just traveling with the family alone because they say it's all expense paid and it's a five-star hotel and it'll be beautiful. But this is work for you and you should be compensated. You're not in your own home. You're not around your own friends. You're not traveling with your friends. You're not able to set your own schedule and go see the tourist attractions you want. You have to do what the family requires you to do. So this is work might be work in a beautiful location like the Bahamas or Hawaii, but it's still work. There are a couple ways to look at it. If you're away for a week, let's just say, and you're a regular employee of that family, maybe they just pay you your regular salary for that week and you're happy with that. That is one way nannies do it. Another way is to also charge a daily stipend. That would include your daily rate, plus a travel fee. So anywhere from 50 to $250, I know that's a huge range, but it really probably depends on where you're going and what the expectations are of you and how much you'll be working. So a regular rate and then your stipend on top of your regular rate. And then on top of your regular compensation, of course, the family is responsible for all expenses. I have nannies ask me all the time, what should the family pay for? Everything, that's the answer. They should be paying for everything. All your meals, all your hotel accommodations, all your flights, all your transportation, and that includes you getting to and from the airport in your home city. So if you have to take a cab or the bus or transit to the airport, they should cover that expense as well. Hours. What hours will you be working when you're traveling with them? At home you work nine to five, eight to six, whatever it is. But when you're traveling with the family, do they wanna go out for dinner at night? Will you be taking the kids to the attractions? Do, depending on the age of the kids, are you staying home with them when they nap and the parents are going out? It really depends on the age of the children, the type of vacation, what you'll be doing. But you need to have some idea because 
eight hours a day can quickly turn into 10, 12, 24 hour care if the parents are off doing their own thing. You want to have a really good idea what the expectation is of you, what hours you're gonna be working, so that you do have some downtime, you have some off time to relax, decompress, and recharge your batteries as well. One other thing to keep in mind about the hours is who's taking care of the children on the plane. So sometimes nannies will fly in after the parents and leave before the parents. Keep in mind, this is travel time and you should be paid for this time. If you're on an eight hour flight to Europe, your compensation doesn't start when you arrive, your compensation starts when you leave home. So that's number one. Number two is, are you taking care of the children on the plane or are the parents? You want to establish this ahead of time just so you know what you're walking into and what you're prepared to do, especially if they're really young children and they need to be entertained on a really long flight for a lot of hours or crankiness or whatever it is. You want to know, are you in charge of the children? Will you be flying with the family or are you flying separately from the family? Next would be accommodation. Is the family staying in a large home where everyone has their own bedrooms? Are they staying in a hotel, a resort? What kind of accommodation will there be? Do you need to share a bedroom with the children and you're getting up with the children at night? Do you have your own bedroom? Do you have a separate suite? Are you in a separate part of the house? Are you in another location and you're traveling to work? You want to know before you leave and before you accept this position, what type of accommodation will be provided for you. This next one isn't really anything to do with what you need to negotiate with the family. It's something to keep in mind for yourself and it's appropriate behavior. We have heard from so many families that have taken their nannies on vacation that they feel uncomfortable or don't know how to approach the nanny in certain situations. Just because you have the evening off doesn't mean the family wants to see you sitting at the bar drinking and hitting on men or women. They don't want to see it. And I know it sounds unfair, but when you are away with this family for the week, you are working and that's why you need to be compensated appropriately. Same thing goes for bathing suits, you know, really skimpy bikinis. If you're a woman, parents don't want to see you lounging down by the pool with your ass hanging out. So appropriate behavior and understanding that you're there to work and being in that work environment means a certain type of behavior for the entire time you're on vacation with the family. Now that the world's opening up again after COVID, I'm sure lots of families will be taking their nannies on vacation with them. And we want to make sure that you're ready and prepared and compensated fairly before you leave on that vacation. If you're a nanny who's ever traveled with the family and have other suggestions for other nannies, I'd love if you could comment below. And otherwise, we will see you next Saturday. Bye.